Wednesday, it's the middle day of Sign of Digital UK 2012, here on the Fuji stand again. I'm with Dave Cull. Dave's responsible for some of the commercial aspects of the equipment that we sell. And we're standing next to the Acuity Advance. I asked Dave a few questions about commercial things to do with the, the machine and, and what kind of offering we make to our customers. So, Dave, one thing that you know, we talk about with this machine is it's a dedicated flatbed machine. We see machines around the stand and on our own stand that are hybrids. We see some are roll fed. What sets this kind of machine apart from those? A dedicated flatbed machine, Mark, uh, is very useful for when you're printing. A majority of your work is flat sheet uh, material. Um, for instance, with a, a hybrid machine, um, feeding small pieces of media through the machine, something like this for instance, but that could be um, a tray of small articles which you could line up many on a bed here, it's not possible with a hybrid machine because it's not possible to, to physically feed these through a machine. Since a piece like this, which is uh, printed with um, a layer of uh, CMYK inks uh, in reverse on the first, on the second surface here, it then has a white backup and a final layer of CMYK here. This so is, we're, we're sort of printing like a sandwich. We are of, of two colours outside of a white. Yes, we are. Okay. And it's it's not impossible to do this on a hybrid machine, but if the registration tolerances are very tight and very critical, then perhaps you might not find that the registration quite so um, accurate on a hybrid machine. Okay. So when a customer comes to us looking at a machine like this, what kind of um, majority of work are we looking for him to be doing to make this machine, or her, to make this machine worthwhile? Well typically I would say that uh, if they're printing onto rigid materials such as uh, Fomex, uh, Corex, uh, display board uh, for display POP applications, then there really isn't any great advantage in having uh, a hybrid machine if you're going to be printing the majority of your work straight onto a rigid material. Um, purely and simply because the, the registration, the double-sided work, the fact that the vacuum table holds the substrate completely flat and in place, uh, for instance corrugated board will sometimes uh, not be the, the best behaved substrate and can walk up at the sides. Is that because of the heat that comes from the lamps? Uh, not necessarily, the, the board can be like that when you you take it off the pallet so uh, once you've got it to, to sit flat on the, on the bed then it will stay flat and uh, it won't curl up at the edges which you can sometimes see um, when the, uh, the substrate is being taken through a hybrid machine or a, a belt or a, or a pinch roller system. So a machine like this can it replace somebody's roll fed machine totally? Um, it, it can, uh, there is a roll option with this machine which sits independently of the flatbed table so you have the benefits of roll-to-roll uh, -roll printing but also you retain the benefits of a, a true flatbed. Um, so there is a roll feed option which is available with this machine. Can it replace roll printers? Well, yes to that extent it, it, it probably can but uh, it's about really picking the right machine for uh, the applications that you have within your business and if, if the majority of what you're doing is on uh, director to flat sheet work, but it probably makes most sense to buy a dedicated flatbed printer. Um, if you're doing a, a real mix, um, lots of roll fed, lots of rigid, 50-50, uh, then maybe a hybrid machine does make more sense. However, this particular uh, model of machine, if you buy the roll fed option, gives you the best of both worlds. Okay, that's lovely. Thanks very much for your help with that. Um, we're here now for the rest of today, which is nearly gone now, and we've got Thursday to come. If you're coming out to the show, pop and see us. Otherwise, keep watching YouTube for more updates.